<laughs> I gave you a lot of trouble during our first meeting. Have you learned anything new since then? Um, maybe. The Mega Man series is known far and wide for its tight controls, excellent gameplay, great graphics, especially for the time, awesome music, and of course, the boss guys, specifically the Robot Masters. Hi, it's Empty Net Surfer, aka the Heroic Assassin, ready for a huge undertaking. Lots of people probably already know about the Quarter Guys Top 50 Robot Masters. I'm taking it one step further and doubling it. The Top 100 Hardest Robot Masters. Now tell me out from this, I have the use of videos for a particular person who knows these games like the back of his scaly hand. That's right, Roa Mitchell's perfect runs of these particular boss battles. That's going through the game, no damage, no charge shots, buster only. Now, the difficulty rating is based on 1 through 10, so there's going to be tier lists going on through it. Because of how wonky the tier lists are, yeah, let's just say that several tiers are sometimes going to be split across several videos. As for the order of the bosses, these were selected based on difficulty from least difficult to most difficult by Roll himself. So, I had really no uh, choice in how they were grouped together other than grouping them into their individual tier lists, with one being the easiest and ten being the hardest. I'm going to be going over the boss design, their weapons, how difficult they are, their stages, you get the idea. Oh, and for those of you who think that these bosses shouldn't be grouped as this easy or this hard, well... Do something about it! This is the Top 100 Hardest Mega Man Robot Masters! At number 100 is DWN026, Toad Man from Mega Man 4. Toad Man was originally crafted for the purpose of irrigation by Dr. Cossack, but then he was forced to battle with Mega Man and Toad Man was modified for combat, his stage being outfitted with all kinds of different creatures and robots. Examples being birds, rats, fish, and snails. One of which is in a particularly precarious position. Toadman himself is actually pretty easy. Get the timing down right, and he never even gets a chance to use his unblockable rain flush ability, which can lead to a pretty quick victory, which is why he's at number 100. At number 99, we have DWN021, Topman from Mega Man 3. Top Man was a coalition between Dr. Light and Dr. Wily for the purpose of going to alien planets to search for energy needed to power Gamma. However, Wily was actually planning on using Top Man and Gamma for his own purposes. Top Man's stage is slightly more difficult. It has the usual one-shot enemies that Toad Man's stage has, but it has a bit more than that, including Top Fiends, Construction Bots, and Tabby. A boss who not only launches yarn balls, but once the yarn balls are gone, also tosses fleas. Top Man himself is actually pretty easy and has a very predictable pattern. In fact, Ruin Mithra only got hit once on this guy, which is more than Toad Man can say. That's why Top Man is 99 on this list. Coming in at number 98, we have DLN006 Bomb Man from the original Mega Man and Mega Man Powered Up. Bomb Man was originally created by Dr. Light for the purpose of demolition and land reclamation, but was stolen by Dr. Wily and reprogrammed for pure combat, his hyperbombs being turned to destructive purposes. I chose the powered up version over the regular version because it's slightly harder in varying degrees. For example, there's bombs that go off after you step on them, as well as a crap ton of octopus batteries. Bomb Man himself is a bit more sporadic and spastic than he was in the original version. The original had him with a much more manipulative AI, which was much easier to read. Here he's a bit more random with his bomb tossing and his jumping. Not to mention there's the fact that he has one of the hugest hyper abilities in the entire game. The trouble is it's actually very easy to dodge, putting him at number 98. 
At number 97, we have DLN072, Galaxy Man from Mega Man 9. Galaxy Man was created by Dr. Light for the purpose of space travel and can even calculate the trajectory of rockets. Unfortunately, he was nearing his expiration date, which Dr. Wily took advantage of to convince him to work for him in framing Dr. Light for a crime he didn't commit. Galaxy Man's stage holds a lot of tricky things like multiplying mini doubles, special teleporters that can get really confusing really fast, and these little robots that can kill you if you aren't careful. Galaxy Man can be very sporadic and his black hole bomb can do some serious damage. Not to mention his flight patterns can catch you off guard if you're not careful. However, he's not the most durable of Robot Masters, which is why he's only at number 97. Up at number 96 is DWN055, Shade Man from Mega Man 7. Shade Man was originally a simple attraction at a haunted house in an amusement park until Wily got a hold of him. He intended to equip him with special sound equipment to mind control humans, but it didn't work and instead became Shade Man's weapon, the Noise Crush. Fitting Shade Man's vampire image are some creepy robots including walking helmets, mechanical zombies, and crows that just love to taunt you after delivering a successful hit, as well as weight traps that can either crush you or drag you into the spikes above them. The giant pumpkin mini boss can take you down two paths depending on where you destroy it. For example, if you destroy the outer shell, it'll knock down the path going off to the right. This will lead to an area with mechanical werewolves that can turn into lance-wielding robots. Destroying the inner shell leads to a downward path with a dark hallway that eventually opens up into a big elevator, and one infested by zombies no less. Shade Man spins most of the fight up in the air out of your reach trying to dive bomb you in order to siphon off life energy. Once on the ground, you have to dodge his petrifying beams and his noise crush attack, which can rebound against the wall and increase his power. He still falls into a predictable pattern though, why he's only number 96 on this list. At number 95, we have DWN053, Springman, also from Mega Man 7. Springman was created by Dr. Wily for the sole purpose of fighting against Mega Man. Unfortunately, he's infamous for being one of the worst assigned bosses ever in a video game. You'd think an evil genius would have thought about making an inescapable room full of instant death spikes way before he made a spring man. <laughs> However, the stage itself is not so stupid with living coils and bouncing springs that can get very chaotic and bounce you all over the place, as well as spring-loaded box traps. Springman is known for having a very simple and predictable pattern, but it's only simple if he uses weakness the slash clock. Without it, he's able to use his wild coil move, which is very easy to shoot through. Springman is still very easy to predict and very durable, putting him at the number 95 spot on this list. At number 94 is DWN022, Snake Man from Mega Man 3. Snakeman was created by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily for the purpose of exploring uninhabited planets marked for development. However, Dr. Wily reprogrammed him for his own evil purposes. Snakeman's stage can be considered Indiana Jones' nightmare, with smaller snakes that like to shoot at you in various groups, and larger snakes that fire energy volleys that can be very difficult to dodge. The weirdest thing about the stage is that it has an outdoor section with flying bullets that can come at you if you shoot their cloud formations. As for Snake Man, his movements can be unpredictable and he can fire off volleys of Search Snakes. Luckily, both him and his snakes are very easy to dodge, but he's a bit more durable than most Robot Masters, putting him at number 94. In at number 93 is DWN073, Blade Man from Mega Man 10. Blade Man was invented by a British Lord who had a fascination with weapons, and was programmed to be a guide to his ancient castle. Unfortunately, he got infected with a Roboenza virus and went completely crazy, outfitting his stage with a number of deadly robots, including flying axes, creeping spiders, a deadly hallway full of flying cannons, and a mini boss reminiscent of an ancient castle. All of which can be tricky to get around, but Blade Man himself can be pretty easy. His pattern is predictable, and his triple blade attack is not too difficult to dodge. However, he's very durable, and because of this, the fight can drag out for a long time putting Blade Man at number 93. At number 92 is DWN044, Nightman from Mega Man 6. Nightman was created by British scientist Squeak for the purpose of fighting in the first Animal Robot Master Tournament. 
Unfortunately, he was captured and reprogrammed by Dr. Wily in the guise of Mr. X so that he could fight against Mega Man. Even though his stage is supposed to be called the Capital of Science, it looks more like a medieval castle, but it's not to be underestimated, as it has a lot of deadly traps, including a luring spike ceiling, shielded cannons, and bookworm robots that can go berserk when you shoot their glasses off. There are actually two different paths to the Nightman boss battle. If you want to take the real one and gain some beat parts, you need to use the Rush Power Adapter to break through the blocks. Nightman himself is a step up from all the previous Robot Masters in that he has a shield that can deflect all but a select few Robot Master weapons, such as the Yamato Spear. The good news is that he has a very predictable pattern and his Night Crush attack is very easy to dodge. However, his shield and his high durability means that the fight can drag on for quite a while, which puts him at number 92. At number 91, we have WWN03, Hyperstorm H from Mega Man The Wily Wars. The muscle of the Genesis Unit, a trio of robots created by Dr. Wily for the sole purpose of destroying Mega Man, Hyperstorm H was modeled after Jubaji from Journey to the West, known in Japan as Chohakai, which is where the H in his name comes from. Hyperstorm Stage has a lot of enemies that come from the first three Mega Man games, including Bladers, Hammer Joes, Swarms of Ants, and even Junk Gorms, an enemy that only appeared in Wily stages. The stage can drag on for a while and has a lot of tricky spots, and to top it all off, Hyperstorm H has two health bars, the only robot master to have such a feature. You'll also try to pull an Andros by sucking in matter, and then spitting it back out while launching blasts of energy. You'll also jump up and down, bringing down Metaurs with every landing. Unfortunately, unlike other robot masters who use this trick, it doesn't cause Mega Man to stumble. He's also not as durable as his size would suggest, which is why he's only at number 91 on this list. Stay tuned viewers, this was only the first tier. Tier 2 is coming up next video.